If you guys are new to Banking with Navy Federal and you want to learn how to get high limits on your credit cards with them, then I got you. And then I'll also teach you guys how to build a high internal score with Navy Federal as well. So if that's something you guys want to know, then you've clicked on the right video. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sanford and you are now watching Just Money, where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick video on how to build a high high internal score with Navy Federal. And then I'll also go over some data points that will help you get a high limit when you apply for one of the credit cards that Navy Federal offers. Okay, so after you open up a checking and a savings account with Navy Federal, you're gonna wanna set up a direct deposit from your current employer if that's an option for you. Setting a direct deposit up helps you build your internal score faster because it shows Navy Federal a few things. One, it shows that you're employed, meaning you have a job and your job deposits your paycheck directly to your Navy Federal account. Or two, it shows that you're still active in the military. I said this before and I'll say it again, and Navy Federal has their own internal scoring system that they use to determine your eligibility with them. Navy Federal has an internal scoring system that ranges all the way from 100 to 450 points and you typically want to be above the 250 point range for best chances of approval. But I'll go over some tips that will help you build a high internal score with them. Okay, so one, make sure to maintain a healthy banking relationship with them. Meaning, don't go overdrawn on your account. In other words, don't go negative in your account. Two, try to make as many consistent deposits as you can. Three, use the account, like for example, use your account to pay bills with or use the account as your primary bank. I know a lot of people who open accounts with Navy Federal and they don't even use them as their primary bank. That is very crucial. You need to build a good relationship with Navy Federal in order to get approved for those high limits that Navy Federal offers. That's very important. And you wanna do this because Navy Federal is literally known to give people high limit credit cards even if they have bad credit. So if you have bad credit and you want a high limit on your credit card with Navy Federal, then I would suggest using them as your primary bank. Moving on, number four, work on your personal credit. Meaning do what you can to build up your personal credit score and make sure to not apply for too many credit cards at once. You do not want to make that mistake. Building credit, it kind of does take time, so just make sure to plan ahead. And also bonus information, using some of Navy Federal products that they offer will help build your internal score with them, but it will also help you build your personal credit score as well. And a good example of that is going to be a product that they offer that is known as a pledge loan, aka a secured savings loan. And for those that don't know what that is, it's pretty much a secured personal loan that's secured by your deposit. Pledge loans help you build a great credit mix to your overall credit profile because it reports as an installment loan. So not only does it help you build internal points with Navy Federal, but it's also going to help build your own personal credit score as well. I recently made a video not too long ago discussing what a pledge loan is and the hack that everybody does with this pledge loan. So if you guys are interested in watching that, feel free to browse my channel or click the link in the description below. But moving on to number five, always stay current on your Navy Federal accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, another thing you can do is get a flagship checking and savings account if you can. And I say if you can, because in order to avoid the $10 monthly fee that they charge, you have to have a minimum of $15 hundred dollars in your account so that way you won't get charged and also for those that don't know you can always upgrade your current account that you have to a flagship checking account anytime in the future if you would like to so you don't really have to feel pressured to open a flagship checking account right off the bat when you start banking with them you literally can always upgrade later but another thing you can do is apply for something called an overdraft protection line of credit also known as a checking line of credit the checking lines of credit go all the way up to five thousand dollars and what that allows you to do is it gives you the ability to write checks up to that amount without bouncing a check or using your checking account above the amount that you currently have in there. So for example, let's say that you go to the store and you go buy something and you didn't have the amount that you needed in order to buy that something in your bank account. Instead of your car getting denied, then your checking line of credit will then kick in and then the transaction was still clear. So how cool is that? And also if you guys are finding any value in this information, if you guys could do me a favor, hit the like button. I would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot. But another product is the safe first account or the easy certificate, which I kind of feel is like an entry level to a CD. Easy certificate Certificates start at $50 and you choose how long you want the terms for and they give you a decent high earnings interest rate too. CDs are going to start at $1,000 minimum so I would start with the easy certificate first. But another product is going to be the secure credit card that Navy Federal offers and that secure credit card is going to be known as the end reward secured credit card. Now this is all going to depend on your current credit score that you have right now so if you already have good credit then I would skip this credit card and just apply for one of their unsecured credit cards that they offer. However, if you're trying to build or rebuild your credit right now then I would definitely recommend to get the end reward secure credit card that navy federal offers and again i recently did an in-depth video talking about the end reward secure credit card that navy federal offers and all the hacks in order for you to graduate from secure status to unsecure status if you guys want to watch that feel free to browse my channel or click the link in the description below now if you have excellent credit then you can definitely apply for a credit card right away but if you don't have good credit then i would suggest waiting three months before you apply for a credit card with them but again everybody's case scenario is always going to be different but if you guys like this video and you want to learn more ways on how to build a higher internal score with navy 
referral so that way you guys can get approved for things then feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below because I give all the hacks and all the gems for free so check it out well that's pretty much it for today's video guys I hope you guys found any value in this information and I hope you guys get those high limit credit cards that Navy Federal are known to give because again this is known as the house of high limits so go get those high limits and also let me know in the comments if you guys have any Navy Federal products that you guys want for me to review I'd be more than happy to do it so just comment down below but if you guys made it to the end of the video then I do truly appreciate you guys we're at 18,003 subscribers at the time of this recording so I do appreciate all who watch we literally just hit 18,000 like a few minutes ago so I do appreciate all who watch and for those that don't know I do post weekly videos and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video and again we talk about personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topics so if that's something you're into you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing we also talk about how to get high limits on your credit cards we talk about how to boost your personal credit how to obtain business credit we talk about real estate we talk about mortgage loan programs all that so this is your one-stop shop and for those that don't know I am also a licensed real estate agent a realtor here in Southern California and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well so if you guys need funding for a home if you're trying to buy or sell a home or any questions in regards to real estate all my information is in the description below I go by the name of Ish Sandiford and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching